Hello everybody, lovely to be here. Thank you so much for coming to my concert today. My name is Kate, this is my cello, and together we're going to entertain you with music from various genres, um, some original compositions and some other well-known compositions and maybe one or two surprises as well. So I'm going to start, first of all, well, first of all, a bit of an in-house announcement. This is a live broadcast from home um, for Ensemble Reza, but they actually need a thousand subscribers in order for people to be able to use iPads and iPhones and things. And until then, we, everyone has to use a laptop. So um, everyone needs to subscribe as much as possible and then get up to a thousand, which is very good. This is an interactive show and our manager Hannah, Hannah Manager, will be here to welcome you and to answer any questions in the chat. So feel free to say whatever needs to be said or not or whatever. I'm going to start with a piece called The End. the end and, and now I'm going to uh, do another piece called the beginning. I'm going to slide me back because I hit it. I'm going to another piece called, it's, it's a pastiche, it's, well, it's based on a pastiche actually and um, it's called uh, the beginning. <laughs> shops are now increasing soon the mask is mandatory 100 pound fine only a tory what's the story jack and Ori? we must move to move to move the economy <laughs> come september schools at capacity no longer eight back to 30 people pretending to not feel panicky shall we begin class mr hands are dirty shall we begin class miss i feel funny shall we begin class miss my tummy dirty tummy funny Ooh. Bubble bubble for me and you soon. Tipple den den den, tipple trouble den den den, triple double bubble for all. Tipple trouble bubble like burst them all. Bubble one and bubble two. Soon double trouble bubble for me and you. Then triple double bubble and burst them all. I'm back home again for another long haul, another long haul, another long haul. We must try to move the economy. Move it, move it, move it, groove it, groove it, groove it. Cars lockdown easing, people pleasing, outdoor gigs more policing, face not covered, people sneezing, fights are Shops are now increasing. Soon the mask is mandatory. Hundred pound fine only a Tory. What's the story? Jack and Ori, we must try to move the economy. Mask sneeze increase. Thirty feel panicky. Capacity September. Na 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 nineteen nineteen C nineteen nineteen C nineteen nineteen C nineteen nineteen C nineteen nineteen. Thank you very much indeed, uh, if you're clapping. <laughs> and um, yes, that was called The Beginning, into 
my unlockdown wrap. Now I do miss that frisson, frisson of live playing with other musicians and that atmosphere between people and the communication and the contact and the magic that can happen. So I, I've actually captured lots of musicians and I've put them in a box. I'm going to keep occasionally lowering like this to do things with this little contraption. It's a red looper and it's basically a pedal that can do all sorts of kind of great things and layer things up and record on the spot. So there's lots of musicians in there. Hi guys, yeah, great to gig with you. Yeah, have a drink later. Yeah, fantastic. I do love improvising um, and I've created a piece called Knock On, Knock Off. Um, and it's basically very percussive. Um, I'm just gonna get my little beat going. I think that's quite good. So I'll turn it up a little bit. And do feel free to join in. You might want to do some vocal percussion, you know, something like You might want to join in with that, it's up to you. But I'm going to start off with um, a bit of cello percussion and we'll see what happens. Let's slightly turn this little thing down. Here we go. So do excuse me if I if, when I have to keep bending down because there's there's no way around it. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ladies and gentlemen that was called knock on knock off I'm a little bit out of breath now which is insane because I thought I was actually a bit fitter because I've been doing obviously I'm not I've been doing lots of walking I mean I actually hate hated walking before the world fell apart um, I, I was very bad about going out for walks and things but it's amazing I, I absolutely love it now I mean London seems to be a kind of interruption of forests and woods. I've discovered amazing things like Trent Park, it's paradise. A place in Mill Hill called Arendine Space. You gotta go, it's fabulous. It's trees, it smells, it's woods, it's fields, it's 
a very special place. Um, there's Monk and Hadley Wood, there's, there's just some great places to walk. And that's kind of kept me going really because I'm thinking about music and stuff just comes, doesn't it? You feel great afterwards. The other thing about um, the recent uh, pre-unlockdown lockdown, lockdown um, is that my cat has been very, 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 very happy. I have a cat, she's absolutely stunning. And she's just been really happy with mummy home now, mummy home. Um, just, just purring non-stop, um, very relaxed, very happy. She's very beautiful, her name is Minouche, or sometimes I call her, please don't throw up there. And um, I have a special voice for her, as lots of cat people do for their animals. And I can be on the phone in a meeting, you know, and, and things change. I'm like, yeah, okay, so perhaps in about three weeks' time we could try to... Hello, baby. Sorry, no, um, the cat just walked in. Um, carry on. I've written a poem for my cat. It's called Cat Love. It's followed by a little song called You're Beautiful and you can just join in. It's very simple, the words, you'll hear them and then you can just join in quite loudly because I can't quite hear from here. Um, and this is the poem. So I'm leaning down again to just do something there. Here we go. I love my cat. She's very black. She stares with green eyes and I stare back. She flirts away when she wants a treat, then disappears when that's complete. She chases things that just aren't there, then stops to clean her paws mid-air. She rolls over and meows, come tickle my tum. Then when you do, you lose a thumb. She watches every move when I cook. I catch her out and she gives me a look. I'm glad she lets me stay with her. I've, I've asked if I can stay longer. She said I can, but with conditions that she continues to make all the decisions. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful and I love you. You're beautiful, you're beautiful and I care. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. You're beautiful and I love you You're beautiful and you're always there Change of key now but you can join in You're beautiful, you're beautiful You're beautiful and I love you You're beautiful and I care Stops to clean her paws mid-air. She rolls over and meows. Come tickle my tongue. And when you do, you lose a thumb. She watches every move when I cook. I catch her out and she gives me a look. I'm glad she lets me stay with her. I've asked if I can stay longer. She beautiful, said I can, but with conditions. You're beautiful and I love you. You're beautiful I and love you're my cat. always there. She's very black. She watches every move when I cook. I catch her out and she gives me a look. I'm glad she lets me stay with her. I've asked, asked if, if I, I can stay, stay longer. longer. She said, said I can, but with conditions, conditions she continues to make, to make all the decisions. decisions. Thank you very much, everyone. That was my cat love poem into You're Beautiful. Now, I've discovered um, a brand new thing. It's amazing. It's called CERT, shopping in real time. What you do is you go into the shop, you, you find something, and you, you actually pay for it there, and you, and you walk out. It's absolutely amazing. It's what you wanted, and it works. 
none of this online stuff. I'm finished with the old business. The new way forward is to actually go into shops and buy things. Well, the government announced a fantastic sum of £1.6 billion to the arts, and that's normally my fee. <laughs> so, um, obviously I've had to take a bit of a cut. But, you know, the arts have to keep going, we have to keep fighting on. We've got to keep dancing, we've got to keep singing, and we've got to keep writing and just doing it, really. I'm lowering myself here again, and there's a little something coming which is called Waltz Away. This is all about, let's keep it going. And there might be a little guest artist to, um, to join me actually, um, but a little surprise guest, we'll, we'll see. Let's see. Okay. Never underestimate the feeling when you do waltz. Skimming round the floor with another dancer Helps you to forget the things around that make you feel so blue This for now's the answer Never underestimate the power of when you sing your tune Swing your thing and let me free Notes become melodies like seeds into blooms And your waltz will come around once again Never underestimate the feeling when you do the waltz Skimming round the floor with another dancer Helps you to forget the things around that make you feel so blue This and now's the answer Never underestimate the power of when you sing your tune Swing your thing, be free and then Notes become melodies and seeds into blooms And your waltz will come around once again ladies and gentlemen. That was Alfred and Alfred um, he actually is a multi-instrumentalist. He can actually play the piano 
it's, he's really amazing actually. I mean, he didn't like piano lessons because he could already play. But he's asked if we can do a song together that he, he it's all about him and his history. So this is, this is all about Alfred. lost something I'm looking around I'm actually going to try and it just seems to have disappeared but I'm not going to worry about it too much but it is what it is Ooh. Alfred had piano lessons and he you know he just felt he didn't need them but he went to them anyway so um, this is all about Alfred's piano lessons. He didn't want piano lessons, he didn't like doing his scales, he'd end up playing Beatles and he wouldn't cut his nails. He didn't want, he didn't want piano lessons, the teacher she got in the way, she really tried as hard as she might but he could already play. Come on Alfred, prove it. He could already play. He didn't want piano lessons, he was slow to read the notes, he made it up as he went along, especially with his notes. Didn't want piano lessons when the pieces got too advanced, with all those sharps and flats and things, you didn't stand a chance. Didn't want piano lessons, he was slow to read the notes, he made it up as he went along, especially with his notes. Art. Come on, show them your notes, Art Alfred. everybody so that was Alfred who felt that he just didn't need those piano lessons now what we're gonna do what I was actually looking for earlier was oh I think that's it I found it I'm so sorry everybody I've just got to get it I'm, I'm hoping that that's it yes it is um it's just a little it, what it is is a little prompt a little prompt and these things help do you know what I mean so um, this is a um, this is a little song all about the things that can really annoy us. <laughs> um, it's it's just called itch. So do you just join in with a little bit of a? these 
experiences, don't we? Every now and then we come across the thing and we just can't believe the timing. We can't believe the sod's law. I can't believe that happened at that point in time. It's not fair, it's not fair, it's not. But that's life. You are, this is an ode to all those moments. Lemon juice in my open wound. Assistant will be with you shortly. I don't want an assistant, I want to do my job. You are the sat nav gone wrong. I actually had a sat nav, it broke. I thought I'm not gonna throw away, I'm gonna mend it, I'm not gonna buy a new one. And I took it away into my bag, ready to get it mended. And I was in the bath one night, I forgot it was in there. I was just having a nice lazy bath and I heard a voice coming from my bag, turn around when possible. Well, I couldn't actually, <laughs> not at that point anyway. You are the wrong chord in the Mozart. Beethoven Symphony. If you're an MP, you can do anything. You are the last piece of blue roll. You are the has been who needs an aspo. You are the wannabe who won't be. You are the chip of my spleen, the hair of my cleat cream. The alarm clock in my dream. But I quite like you, really. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I can hear the Royal Albert Hall roaring, roaring, roaring there. Well, um, if you are enjoying this concert so far, um, th thank you so much to people who've been tuning in every week. Don't go yet, I'm not finished. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that if you're enjoying this and you've enjoyed the series in Ensemble Reza, do go to their website and, and consider making a donation to help um, musicians and, and um, or performers um, along the way, because it's not an easy time, especially with my fee of being 1.6 billion and everything. So that would, be, that would be good if you could do that, that would be lovely. I'm going to take you on another journey now to a completely different place, um, a wonderful place of watermelons. We're going to eat some watermelons because we're going to do a little piece by the incredible Herbie Hancock called Watermelon Man. And if you have any percussion on you, do feel free um, to, you know, just, you know, something like that. Um, and we may have our guest artist back again. But meanwhile, this is Watermelon Man. Here we go. Did it be beep, 
gonna move this a little bit because I'm overheated. Yeah, baby. indeed that was what well, breath you see a watermelon man I need to obviously do more walking that was by the amazing Herbie Hancock and I would like to now do a song for you um, that I I think I may have written it in 1833 I use oil of you olive ole so I look quite young so I'm bending down again because I need to fiddle around with my little looper and this is a song called They Said My Cello Could Never Be a Guitar. I'm hoping I can be heard. Yep, there we go. Good. So you're going to join in a little bit, just in a question and answer kind of thing. I'm going to sing something, you're going to sing it back, and we'll see where this goes. So here we go. This is called They Said My Cello Could Never Be a Guitar. I you. Ba ba do day you be da a be bo bo a sha ba da 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 da. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Said I'm a cello, could never be a guitar. Said I'm a cello, could never go that far. No. Be a seagull. I said 
get out of a cello Can never be one of those No, no to say a huge thank you to everyone for logging in today and putting up with all my chaos and losing things. I'd also like to make a, um, a thanks to all the funders uh, for my, my 1.6 billion fee, um, to the Arts Council England, Tim French and Magic Events, the Orchards Shopping Centre in Haywards Heath. It's a really great shopping centre, they, um, they do great shoes there. And um, also to uh, Savills who support this and other community and education programmes including community orchestra and workshops in schools. There's a thing. So I'm going to end my little set with a piece about my favourite hobby which is cycling in the country. Now to do this there's a little bit of stage management needed so you have to bear with 
because I need two pianos. Two pianos fighting in the dark. La 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 la. Good, I know you can't probably see that hand there, but it's it's um swings and roundabouts, I've discovered. So this um I'm going I'm going to have to just lower down again, you have to bear with me, because um here we go. Right. Uh, no, just get the speed. This is called Bicycle Days. Bicycle Days. When I'm flying through birds and fields and all the land that's in between, there's that feeling, that magic thing when you're at one with all you've seen. When it's time to change up the gear because you're speeding through the breeze, sweetness is around you with pine tingling trees. Oh, the whizzing of the wheels when they freshly hit the ground. Smile, cause there's no time like now. I found there is no other place you'd rather be except this field of blue. Come and bicycle with me. watching Ensemble Reza because they have fantastic concerts every week and it is now adieu but I shall um, leave things as they are for a while for the hand of the manager to talk to people. Bye Alfred, bye Kat, off we go. Uh, trip over everything. <laughs> <laughs> 